Oh, what a dramatic competition this javelin has been. And Steve Backley comes in for his final throw, knowing that he's already won the gold medal. Oh, and that's a good throw. And that javelin is sailing out. It's over 85 metres. The pressure was off. Steve Backley knew he'd won. And that goes out to what must be a new European Championship record. And Steve Backley really finishes this competition off in style. The technique was perfect, the finish was perfect. And I think as soon as that javelin left his hand, he knew it was going to be a good one. Over 85 metres. I'll tell you what, Paul, he's not a bad first round thrower and he's not a bad last round thrower either. Well, the competition has been full of drama and as we wait for the distance, this young man has really set the world alight in terms of his competitions this year. He takes well-deserved applause from the crowd and we see the distance at 87 metres and 30, another championship record, and what a way to finish a competition. Just to confirm that Zaitsev of the Soviet Union will take the silver, Bowden of Sweden, the bronze and Mick Hill just outside the medals in fourth place. Mick Hill with 82.38, Zaitsev 83.30, Bowden 82.66, but a massive lead and a new championship best to Steve Backley of 87.30 on his final throw. He's quite some athlete, really has done incredibly well this year, started off the year with the Commonwealth Games gold medal, subsequently broken the world record, now he's won the European Championships with a championship record and he has the whole world at his feet. He's still only 21 years old. Going to be heading for the next Olympics in Barcelona, and who knows, even beyond that. Just wait, just wait till he's fully grown. <laughs> Ratu just ahead, 81-80. And Zelezny just taken the lead. Now then, where has this one gone? It looks good, it looks good. Oh my goodness, it is over 85 metres. Well, there's a gentleman there just shielding his eyes from the sun, wondering, I wonder where that one has gone. But Steve Backley is back in business. The technique it has been well grooved. The running was good. No signs of any niggles or injuries to the shoulder or to the groin. Steve Backley has launched that one. Now then, can the rest respond? Zelezny is certainly behind at this stage. Ratu is certainly behind. Mick Hill is behind as well. 85-20, Backley is back in business. He was Commonwealth champion in 1990. He then became European champion. He's done the first half of the double once again. And that has put a spring back in his step. I tell you what, it would be a unique situation as well to see a thrower do a lap of honour. I'm not sure we're going to get that. But Steve Backley is back in business. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. We're all absolutely delighted up here. The calm before the storm for Steve Backley. He looks relaxed now, but he must be feeling the butterflies once again in this Helsinki Olympic Stadium. He climbs the gold medal rostrum. He retains the title he won four years ago in split. And now he's on the leg of a double. The Commonwealth Games, of course, in a couple of weeks' time. He did the double in 1990. Can he do it again this year? A whisker short of the 90-meter mark. And I think you can tell from that expression, he doesn't reckon he hit it 100%, so maybe there's a lot more to come. That is a brilliant start, just as he did in split eight years ago. He won it from the front with his very first round throw. The Cambridge Harrier now becomes European champion for the third time. So, Steve Backley coming in for his fifth round throw. Comfortably in second place at the moment with that 86-37 from the third round. Chasing 88-05 from a Sergei Makarov. And that's a good throw, without a doubt. It's flying, it's landing beyond that red marker of Makarov. I think that's taken the lead. So does his coach, John Trower. Mackley, um, not quite sure of the distance just yet. 
pacing up and down. Around the 88 meter mark, there's Magnarov. Well, he's looking anxious as well. Well, back we can see what you can't. He's gone into the lead. 88.54, the confirmed distance coming up on the scoreboards. You see a replay there of that terrific throw. Technically, extremely good. Gets the, well, I was going to say the thumbs up from his coach, John Trier. The clenched fist. 88-54 to take the lead. How can Makarov respond? He's just seen Backley going to the lead. Well, it doesn't matter where it lands. That's going to be a red flag, a foul. Confirmed, Makarov can't improve. He's going to have to set up the silver medal. And the European champion, once again, is going to be Great Britain's Steve Backley. Well, he triumphed in split Helsinki and Budapest. The winner here with his fourth consecutive gold medal in Munich. Well, European champions of yesteryear applauded, including Alan Pasco and Ian Stewart. The photographers are chasing him. No other man other than the other javelin thrower the Soviet great Yanis Lusis has ever won four consecutive gold medals on the European stage. What a terrific performance from Backley. Makarov can't do anything today. No global gold yet for Steve Backley, but he's unbeatable on the continental stage. He can go home, celebrate, confirmation he is the European champion. The winning distance, 88-54.